are going to do one storytelling activity for language and early literacy experience. So let's see how I am reading the story to the children. One sunny day, a lion was woken up by a tiny mouse running across his face. See a lion? Lion is sleeping and the mouse is jumping on his head. Now the lion got angry. He got the mouse and was about to kill him because the lion was asleep and the rat was disturbing him. He caught hold of the mouse in his paws because the lion's sleep was disturbed. Then what happened? The mouse was scared and told the lion, if you would only spare my life, I would be sure to repay your kindness. The lion laughed and let him go. The lion thought, what this little mouse is going to help me. It happened shortly of this that the lion was caught by some hunters using a net. See, the lion was caught in a net. The mouse heard the lion's roar and ran to help him. Now the lion was looking at the mouse. Oh, the small mouse is helping me. And the lion slowly cut off the whole net and the lion was free. And the mouse used his teeth to cut the net until the lion was free. The lion thanked the mouse for saving him. Now, what you have understood when I was using my finger, my pen beneath the words, it shows that whenever you are telling a story or drawing children's attention towards print, you have to draw children's attention towards print. It enhances the early literacy skills in children. Now, after this story, where it is mainly focused on early literacy experience and having fun. What are the other activities you can do after telling the story? So you have understood that whenever you will do a read aloud or a story, you have to focus on the print and using your index finger beneath the words so that you can draw the children's attention towards print and you enhance the early literacy skills in children. Let's do some other activities which we call post storytelling activities. Let's do. So this was a storytelling activity and now we are going to do some other activity. Let's see, these are some cards. These are some cards on lion. You can see the picture of a lion here. So we can do the sorting activity with these lion cards. So you can ask the children, children, how you can sort these cards? So let's see how I am sorting the cards on the basis of what criteria? You have to see on the basis of what criteria I am sorting or classifying these cards. So this, this, now what I have done? Yes, exactly, you are right. All these lions have green head. All these lions have red head. And all these lions have yellow head. Beautiful, you are absolutely right. Now, what other criteria you can classify these lion cards? Let me see. And then you have to tell me. Can you tell me? On what basis I have classified these cards? Okay, let me tell you. I know you are able to tell. And let's see, are we both correct? Yes, all these lions are little sad, I think. All these lions are little sad. Can you see the expression of the lions? These are sad. All these lions are happy. They are showing the expression of happiness. All these lions are little surprised. To make it more complex for the elder children, like for five-year-old children or four-and-a-half-year-old children, you can ask on what other criteria you can classify these cards. Yes, there is still a scope. Now, the third category is, see, all these lions are having circle or the round head. 
all these lions are having triangle head all these lions are having square head so we have done the classification on the basis of three categories isn't it easy and a fun followed by a storytelling activity now let's see what else we can do for this storytelling activity now let me keep all these cards so that we can do some other activity and which is going to be fun for you now let's see i have this mouse worksheet for me that is so simple to draw even you can draw so we can do the coloring activity inside this mouse but remember when you are giving to it to the young children you have to use a thicker marker or thicker sketch pen so this becomes your coloring activity for the domain creative art and expression now we can do this activity here i have drawn five mouths right so let children do the counting touch and count 1 2 3 4 5 it looks so easy for you but it is very difficult for the children see i have some used bottle caps with me now i'll do some one to one correspondence activity ask the children to keep one bottle cap beneath each mouse means one bottle cap and one mouse so one it is not necessary that all the bottle caps will be of the same color two three four and five ask the children to count it again so it is one to one correspondence means one object to one matching right so 1 2 3 4 5 if you want to make it more complex for the older children you may ask okay children how many red bottle caps and how many yellow to make it more interesting let's do some more activity for the storytelling activities let's see i have drawn a maze maze is again a problem solving skill so this is a maze where you can create a story for the children you can and you can say this is a lion and lion want to reach to the mouse but this path is so complex help the lion to reach to the mouse and give a thicker marker or a thicker sketch pen to the child when you are creating a story it becomes a lion so helping the lion to reach to the mouse so the child will use like this and you can see that this maze is for problem solving but when the children are using the pen or the thicker pen and helping the lion to reach the mouse it becomes an activity for writing readiness and also for creative art so so many activities through this story telling you can also sing a song on this uh, storytelling as a post storytelling activity i am a jungle king i am a jungle king i am a lion i am a lion i love to sleep out in the sun and chase animals just for fun i am a jungle animal but i am a number one animal i am the king of the jungle i am a lion i am a jungle king so you can also sing a rhyme related to the story so this becomes also a language development activity then you can also do a early literacy activity post storytelling activity what does rhyme with the word mouse means what rhyme with the word mouse the expected answer of the children is house mouse house blouse these are all rhyming words which are very good for learning phonological awareness you can also do one early literacy activity there are many but uh, what i am remembering right now is what is the initial sound you hear in the name mouse what is the initial sound you hear in mouse 
ma, ma mouse. What other words you can make with ma? Ma mama, ma monkey, ma mat. So this is a sound discrimination activity. Let's do one more very fun activity which is for fine muscle development and also for problem solving skill. So you can see the way the lion was caught in the net, I have kept some beautiful toys and objects in this basket and tied some wool to make it look like a net. Take a tong, give a tong to the child and make it for fine muscle development and ask the child to pick up an object using the tong. See my tong is child friendly, it, is not, it doesn't have a sharp edges. So ask the child to take out one object from the using a tong. So this is also a fine muscle, this looks easy.